Hi everyone, today I want to talk about trusting the process. This is something that I've been kind of having to remind myself of and hopefully I can inspire you and you know you'll take something away from this. But just in general, trusting the process, even in life, I just feel like because of social media, we kind of get this idea in our minds that people just become successful overnight or so quickly or without any hard work happening behind the scenes. And that's just not the case. I mean, good things that are worth having, they are going to take time. They are going to take endurance, patience, discipline, and persistence. And But we have to trust our process. And I did a video um, on my YouTube and on TikTok about rejection and how, you know, the saying goes, um, rejection is protection. And I saw a post the other day that said, you know, when you want something and you get it, that's God's direction. And when you want something, you don't get it. That's God's protection. And I really think so many times we get so, we get so caught up in our own minds of what we want, like what looks good, what, what makes us feel good, what's good for the ego, you know, what is going to impress other people, what's going to make other people look, look at us a certain way. So what do we want? What do we want? Like what's going to fulfill us? And then when we don't get it, we get upset because of our pride instead of trusting that the reason that you didn't get something is really because it wasn't meant for you and like my thing is now if anything does not work out for me like I'm the type of person now where I'm just letting everything flow I don't want things to be forced in my life so if something or someone or an opportunity just removes itself from my life then I let it go. I don't resist that because now I'm not trusting the process. I literally trust that what is for me is going to miss me. Whatever it is meant to be in my life is not going to miss me. And I think like part of what goes into this is like when you've done work on yourself, like when you've done enough work on yourself, you just learn to value yourself more. And like one of my favorite quotes that I talked about is faith doesn't worry and value doesn't beg. So when you value yourself, you're not worried about what's not working out for you because you understand that there's a better opportunity that's going to come and serve you anyway. And um, I was listening to someone speak and this was a successful person. So clearly, like, I took something away from it and it was worth listening to. So I was listening to someone speak about their journey and how they reach success in life, certain successes. And someone asked them a question and was asking them to speak on any bumps in the road that they had or any failures that they had and kind of how they overcame that. And I just love the qu- the answer that the person gave. The person basically said that he doesn't, they don't, he doesn't consider failures or bumps in the road as failures. He calls them pre-successes. And that just hit because I've been reading Think and Grow Rich. I recommend you guys read it. It's also an audiobook version available. You can't look at when things don't work out for you, especially if it's something that you wanted. Like if it was something that you put your best foot forward in trying to get an opportunity or a relationship or whatever it was, like if that doesn't work out for you, that really is protection and redirection to get you to focus on something else because I, I'm just like, I'm not trying to be in no in no situation where... I'm getting off my path. Like when you've done work on yourself, you know, okay, the path I'm trying to be on is leading me toward abundance. The path that I'm trying to be on is leading me towards freedom, towards self-worth, towards love. So if anything isn't fitting in there, then go. Like you're not, it's not matching. We're not aligning. So he was like, he doesn't look at any of his failures, the bumps in the road as failures. They're pre-successes. And he also said, you know, he doesn't want to look down on that. Like, and I agree with that. Like, don't ever look anything. If you ever fail, first of all, failure is only if you, if you want to say it's a failure, then think of it as a failure. But failure is not really a real thing. You have to learn from your failures in order to succeed. He basically was saying that, you know, in those little failures, they're pre-successes. And in those failures, he takes the lessons that make him stronger and make him better for the future. And a quote from Think and Grow Rich is, every failure has in it an equal 
success, basically. Like it has in it what you can learn to apply to be successful in the future. And he also said like he would never look down on his failures or bumps in the road. And I agree with that. Don't ever like on your life journey, don't ever look down on something that didn't work out for you. Don't do that because it's your life. Like you can make whatever you want out of your life. And that's why I believe in turning pain into purpose. Like don't sit and dwell because you didn't succeed the way you wanted to, or, you know, an opportunity didn't work out or you failed. No, don't, don't do that. Like whatever doesn't work, instead of being so hard on yourself, like, here's the thing. Here's another thing too. I feel like sometimes if you're like spiritual, whatever, we'll pray to God or like if something happens that we like, like it works in our favor, we get what we want. We'll say, oh, thank you guys so much like for making this work. Like, thank you. Thank you. Right. And that's it. We don't want to talk to God no other time. But what about when it doesn't work out? Like I'm in the place now where I'm saying, okay, well, thanks God for allowing this not to work out so that I could become stronger, learn whatever lesson I need to learn and apply it to be better in the future. So thank you for not letting that work out because it actually was a blessing in disguise to help me see my value, help me see my worth. And I talked about that on my TikTok. That's so embarrassing. Okay, I talked about that on my TikTok too. If something doesn't work out for you, hey girl, if something doesn't work out for you, stop, we gotta get out of our ego. We gotta just say, okay, thank you. Like, I'm grateful. Turn it into a positive. What can you take away from this? What can you learn from this and apply it to your life? Like I was giving an example with um, like relationships and stuff like that. Like, why do y'all, <laughs> like, when y'all, because I see it on TikTok, when y'all be in y'all feelings about somebody ghosting you or whatever, I would be like, okay, bye. Like you literally just, I didn't have to do anything. You decided to leave. Great. I'm being protected from somebody like you. I'm being protected. Like, I wouldn't want nobody like that in my life anyway to ghost me. Like, what What does that say about you? But we get so we get so caught up in our ego. And, that, and, and, and having low self-esteem, which is what I talked about too, which is why I encourage y'all to go on a healing journey because on my healing journey, I'm learning a lot about self-esteem and how to, like, affirm myself and, like, understand that I'm enough. And that's another thing, guys. You're enough. Just because somebody doesn't think you're enough or they feel like you don't add anything value to your life, then that's not your problem. That shouldn't have that shouldn't affect the way you see yourself. That self esteem is the way you see yourself. That shouldn't have anything anything to do with that. That's them on their journey. They have a filter over their eyes that protect them from seeing your greatness and your beauty and your value. What does that have to do with me? Oh, y'all. <laughs> what does that have to do with me? Y'all let me know nothing it's not my problem I mean I can move on that's life I mean there's ups and downs and we're everyone's not meant to see our value and how amazing we are everyone's not like I'm telling myself look some of y'all some people some things in life just if we're not aligned I will be moving on that's all I can say I would just keep moving I'm redirecting my energy my attention to what is for me okay so, yeah. Also, guys, I am not on Instagram. I'm not really on Instagram that much. I just read on the app to come on here, but I'm not really on Instagram like that anymore. But, like, I'll come on every now and then to post. But, yeah. I encourage y'all to also make, make sure you take time for yourself. Take breaks from social media. Um, You know, clear your mind. But hope y'all enjoy. Rejection is protection and redirection. So redirect your energy. Don't take it so personally. It's nothing against you. It's just that it's something better, better opportunity coming for you. And you want people in your life that can see your value. You want people in your life that do appreciate and respect you. And I've mentioned this on my TikTok too. You you never want something that doesn't want you. Because like I said, what is that? That is being that is not natural. That is not natural to want something that doesn't want you, but you have value. That doesn't make sense. So I hope y'all enjoyed and I'll probably post this on my YouTube too. So bye.